all right guys so i just finished a street tea episode for my tiktok and i'm sitting out here finishing my tea it is to my tea it is really good but yeah this is the first part of the vlog you're gonna see so hey street choir Get a boogie in your face. What time is it? It's currently 8.45 a.m. And it's pretty out here. I'm drinking this tea for the new year. I'm kind of trying to change habits. Um, I've been writing a lot more, reading a lot more. I need to read my word, but I haven't been doing that lately. But I've been since December 13th. I've been like praying to God every day. And oh, there's horses behind me. I think they're just interested because they're all looking at me while I talk. I don't know if you can see it, but they're right here. Those are my neighbor's horses. But yeah, so this year, basically trying to figure out how to be better, be a better version of myself. So I can present it to you guys authentically, because I get scared sometimes presenting myself to the world, because I feel like I'm a lot to handle. And there's new updates. I'm going to sit down and talk to you about the updates in my life in a different video, but I just wanted you guys to see what was going on. Let's go inside. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do this every day. Come out and drink tea when I do this series. If I'm home. I got my dad's jacket. He'd be getting mad at me because I still his clothes, but his clothes are comfy. Hey, Sam. But yeah, this is a wig, by the way. Actually, it's a ponytail that I wear as a wig. Hey, mamas. Hey, Lily. I'm going in the house. Shh. I can't even stop and pet Leia because he gets jealous. But yeah, that tea was great. My belly feels relaxed and open. I might do some yoga to kind of like open my body up and then pray a little bit. I took a 
shoes off. These are kind of big on me, but I don't care. What was I about to say? I think this is the most. I think this is the most I've filmed since July. I just, I didn't have it in me to be fake and do uh, reactions. Like, I love music, but I think because it felt like it was becoming a job, um, I wasn't really feeling it. Like, I love getting requests from people and I love people recommending me music and stuff. But when it felt like I was obligated to listen to those songs and not just freely be like, oh, today I'm going to listen to what this subscriber said, um, it kind of felt forced. And then I didn't like it anymore. So, yeah. I needed a change. And this is, this is the start of that. Um, I was supposed to do this on the 1st of January, but it didn't feel like I was there mentally to do it then. Um, I was still feeling some um, angst and some sadness. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're going to talk about the updates and I'm going to do that right now so I don't forget. Alright, so now that I'm chilling here, um, updates. So as you guys know from the last vlog I posted, I am in Maverick City Gospel Choir, went on tour twice with them last year. One tour was amphitheater and stadium tours, tour dates, and then the second tour was just stadium tours. That was very fun. Um, I filmed some of it, but not a lot of it. Um, I did get some clips of the stage and stuff like that, and then they sent us a uh, clips and you just had to find which ones you were in or which ones you liked and you could keep them on Dropbox but I'm not really into you know how you feel like something isn't yours so you can't really pr promote it like that's how I felt like Maverick City isn't mine so I'll post every now and again but I'm not gonna put all my effort into something that's not my basket you know and uh, I, I enjoyed the fam I met a lot of people in the choir that were amazing um, a lot of people I'm like okay we might be friends <laughs> we might be friends for the rest of my life um, you might be getting invited to my wedding speaking of weddings um, I'm not getting married there's no ring but I am in a relationship I met the love of my life last year we actually date, started dating end of February beginning of March some date well, me and him don't know we don't know for real um, but his name is Darius. He's so sweet. I love him so much. Um, we're long distance, which is very hard, but I don't mind sometimes. Sometimes it gets really hard, but other times it's like, ah, uh, it's worth it. Um, and the times we do spend together make up for it. Like, seeing him and hugging on him and stuff really helps me, so yeah, that's new. I sung background for an artist named Charmaine um, in August for the first time, my first paid gig. It was very nice. Um, I sung with my brother actually. He sings background for her regularly. And she asked me if I would be one of those like fill ins, like when she needs someone to fill in for another, because I think she has like five background artist and everybody's doing their own thing so like whenever anyone's available she'll kind of like ask you if you can do that gig and then you can go with her she does a lot of shows and stuff like that which is really cool um i joined a community choir um in the area where i live did two concerts last year for them one was a summer and one was a fall and great great experience a lot of nice people I actually got invited to sing at a memorial service for someone I didn't wasn't acquainted with and a wedding um, to sing for and it was very nice I love those experiences I just love singing so anywhere I can sing I'll be like which is why I'm working on 
get my car this year because I need to be doing more gigs. <laughs> so yeah, I've been doing that. Those are all the major things. A lot of singing was done last year. Downsides, I broke my ankle. Oh wait, before I get to the downsides, I went to Seattle for one of the tour dates and I stayed with my uncle there and it was so amazing. It was my first time traveling alone. Y'all, it was so amazing. I genuinely knew from that trip that singing around the world was going to be something I do. Like, I'm just going to be doing that. I don't know when I'm going to do it, when I'm going to start, but I'm doing that. Like, I see myself being an artist traveling everywhere and performing places. And, yeah, from that experience, my uncle was great. He was a great host. He took care of me. Um, I met a lot of people in Seattle that were so cool. Had a lot of testimonials given to me that really helped me. Even though I broke my ankle when I came back, it was still an amazing experience. But after I came back from Seattle, July 26th, something like that, I broke my ankle skating and I had to get surgery from it. I have no pinks, a scar. And I have nine screws, eight or nine screws in my ankle. But yeah, that pain was insane. But I got back. I can walk better now. I um, started exercising again. But I think when I broke my ankle was kind of when my mental health kind of spiraled downward. Um, because I couldn't really do anything. Like I sung at that gig in August after my surgery. No. It was, yeah, it was after my surgery, and I did good with that, but for some reason, my mental health just did not do good, because if you guys don't know, I live with my parents, and it's been a very big struggle for my mental health to not be able to move the way I want to move, and so, like, I'm thinking this year of getting a job, but then that would limit me on what I can do. I don't know yet, but yeah. I did a lot of things. Um, overall, I made a, a pact with myself at the end of November or middle of November to live to see 2023 because I was suicidal. It was the worst it had been in a long time. And it was because I couldn't move. Um, a lot of my saving grace was for my best friend Imani. She was a godsend. She was, she's been keeping me um, sane. Her and my boyfriend have been keeping me sane for a long, long duration of the end of the year. And I feel better now, especially because I started praying and talking to God on a regular basis. But those getting out of the house moments were what were keeping me alive. Like I just, for some reason my body was just like in a state of desperation, in need of desperation of like leaving. And when I can't leave when I want to, I, my, I notice my brain goes into this, you're never going to leave, you're never going to leave, you're trapped here, you're trapped here. Like it gets into this really bad, I won't say psychosis, but like it's definitely the enemy. And I can hear him being like, this is where you're going to always be and stuff like that. And the devil is a liar, y'all know that. But a lot of that changed after I got out the house. Like I made plans to get out the house so I could basically secure myself into seeing the next day, which was New Year's. Me and my best friend went to a tiny house for New Year's. It was great. I had so much fun. Um, my boyfriend spent Christmas with me. That was great. Um, but yeah, last year was one for the books. There was a lot of highs. There were just as many lows. But this year, I just feel like it's gonna be good one. Um, me and God have been talking about it. It's gonna be a good year. I'm gonna get a car. I'm gonna get my license. I'm gonna gonna be able to do things that are on my my goal list I don't have any resolutions really I just have goals I'm trying to reach and so I gotta get back on it and 
getting back on my channel in this new headspace is definitely going to be something I hope you guys can get used to. But yeah, that's all for today's vlog. It's very short, I think, but hopefully you guys stick around for more episodes of street vlogs. <laughs>